Well, here we go with this Dr. Umar. Dr. Umar burst out onto the scene around 2010. Uh, when he appeared on Sinetta TV um, show, and he appeared on the couch on Sinetta. Sinetta at that time had the game on lock, the knowledge game, and Sinetta was the show was the best show in town. Everybody was looking to get on Sinetta TV at that time because you didn't have a lot of people that had YouTube channels. And Umar had videos and all kinds of things that he was trying to sell, and things that he was trying to do. So to get a seat on a couch in the living room of Sinetta TV was a big thing back then, and. Uh, him and Sinetta uh, ultimately ended up falling out, but by that time, he had springboarded that those interviews onto being on uh, shows with uh, Tariq Nasheed at the time. Um, you know, he had like big speaking engagements. The guy, he has a lot of degrees, and he can talk that talk. Man, he can talk that pro-black black stuff, man, and it sound real good. It sound real good, but... After the years and years of all this talking and, and talking about building, the man just simply hasn't produced. He's been in so many different scandals. Y'all remember uh, the conscious stripper, and when he when he, um, he 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 claimed to be celibate, and he was trying to work together to build these schools, and he ain't have time for sex. But then he ultimately ended up getting exposed by the conscious stripper. And he went online and called all kinds of names and just went wild. But let's check this out, the situation with the conscious stripper. See this on YouTube. It's available. And it's been there all this time. So if you go to YouTube and you type in Garvey Day, Fort Lauderdale, you're going to see two events come up. You might see a few more that other people may have added, but I know two. And the second one was the second time when he came back, and that's going to play a part later on. So remember that part. Now, the first event you will see in the footage, in the video on YouTube that's been there. I'm in the hallway conversing with the photographer. He was an artist. He had some stuff, um, some clothes, and I'm looking at the stuff that he was selling. I can't remember if it was painting or clothes, but we were in the hallway conversing about some other things and that's where I spent most of my time because again I was not interested in Umar Johnson's lecture I did not see any knowledge there from what you guys see I don't get what you were all mesmerized about I said this before and I will say it again he had no new information to offer me Everything he was saying, I'd heard it all before. And I'm surprised that you guys hadn't heard it all before. Have you not listened to Malcolm X and Marcus Gar? Have you not read these things for yourselves? I mean, it's unbelievable to me how you can listen to. I don't even see how you guys can sit through the whole thing. I've not sat through an Umar Johnson lecture yet. Not, not to this day. I don't see how you can listen to it. So back, back to the story. So we there, I'm supporting and everything like, all right, boom, boom, boom. Now, as the uh, lecture was nearing toward the end, I noticed there was a little bit of conflict going on. So I kind of overheard some people talking and basically they had gone over time. They were only allowed to use the venue for a period of time and they had gone over that time. So they were basically being kicked out of the building. Now, Omar was trying to further um, go on with the lecture, but it was over. You know, the guy's like, no, it's, you know, we got to cut it. So Omar's upset now. So there was two more events planned for him the next, the following days. I think it was the next two days or the next day, and it was going to be two in that day or something like that. But it was another event for him in Miami, another two. And... Something happened with that one, but let me get through this one first. So the event's over. They kick everybody out of the building, and we're all standing outside, kind of chopping it up with each other, and everybody's taking pictures and everything. So everybody take walks up there. They take their picture with Umar and go on. So I'm like, okay, so I'm ready to do the same thing. We take our picture, and I'm ready to, to go on. Umar like, well, wait a minute. Hold on. I want you to take some pictures of me and her with my phone all right cool you know i'm i didn't think anything of it like all right no problem he wants you know photos for himself i guess okay no problem so he and i took the pictures um to get he and i took pictures by ourselves without my son 
on his phone. So he says to me, he writes his number down in the book and says to me. And ever since that situation back in 2015, you know, um, he started to lose a lot of his steam. You know, so some people still, a lot of people still rock with him, but some people didn't trust him. He basically fell out with damn near the whole uh, pro-black community on, on multiple levels. But then he has, but then he has this ego. I'm talking about his ego is unbelievable and through the roof. And you can tell that it's hard for him to work with other men, even his father. Me and his father, uh, uh, me and Dr. Umar's father, brother Jamil's very good friends, very good friends, as you can see here. And Umar, Umar Johnson's father is a doer on in the streets of Philadelphia on the ground. He he puts in work. He just retired. He puts in work. He's well known, well respected. And Umar, his son, is a good talker. But let's check out this clip and his ego and the things that he says out of his mouth. From and he's supposed to be a pro black. Check this out. I want to have a Garvey baby. Lord have mercy, Sister Danielle. You must not have heard me. Sister Danielle wants to have a Garveyite baby with King Kong Alicia. Sister Danielle. Mm, and she fine too. Look at them eyes. Sister Danielle, listen, baby. We got to build the nation first. If I give up all my testosterone, I won't have no energy to build the nation. I got to build first, okay? We must build before the back shots. We must handle the business before the back shots. It is consciousness over the cookies. It is politics over the punani. It is revolution over the romance. Sister Danielle wants to have a baby with King Kong Alicia. She fine too. Lord have mercy. Might have triplets. But Sister Danielle, stay focused, my sister. Understand, overstand, and understand that the building, the nation building must come before the back shots. I said the nation building must come before the back shots. Brothers and sisters, we must stay focused. We must stay focused. Again, and this is the stuff where he's talking about him being delicious and building a nation and back shots and uh, back shots before building and all this kind of stuff. But we're talking about a man that took almost a million dollars from the uh, uh, the public to build a school. The last thing you should be talking about is even having those type of conversations, period. You shouldn't even be talking like that. But this is, but again, when you're arrogant and you have this arrogance, you don't care nothing about that. This is the stuff that you do. And this is Dr. Umar. And the public has allowed him to get away with this because he's so intelligent. And there's a lot of single moms out here who struggle with their children in school. And he's a child psychiatrist and he, he understands how the, the school system works. So he's able to get out there and charm you, charm you and disarm you, right? Seduce and reduce you with that with, with his mouth. He's good at that. Super good at that. Right. So a lot of women like y'all got to start waking up. So now he has a situation down. There was a situation down in Georgia where this uh, oversized BBW come walking down the aisle saying that she uh, he was with her last night. He claims that they never saw this woman before and don't know her. But based off your history, we don't know if you do your, or you don't. But you're guilty by just because your past behavior. But this girl came down there. And she uh, went to uh, uh, jump on the stage and she got attacked by the security. They took her down. But again, another black eye for Umar Johnson. Check this out. See, we got this thing, brothers and sisters. And the white man knows you well because he's written books on you. How many books? They say the Negro entrepreneur. Who's that queen? He wasn't with me last night. I never seen you in my life. Yes, I'm going to keep speaking. I've never seen a sister day in my life. Brothers and sisters, clap it up for the ancestors. And again, for me, for the life of me, I don't understand how he's able to travel the country and the world and still uh, get called out. People still fly him out to come talk where he hasn't produced anything. You know, he goes on a breakfast club. He gets this attention from these people, and I don't know how. Like, we need more builders. More and more orators and talkers. Carter G. Wilson said this in the Miseducation of the Negro, chapter twelve, uh, chapter six. We need more builders. We don't need no more uh, uh, speakers. We got way too many people that can talk. Like I said, that can charm you and disarm you. We need that can seduce you and reduce you. We need people that can come in and build builders that can get stuff done. 
uh, that can cut all the small talk and get and roll up their sleeves and get the work where people can get jobs, people can benefit from the work you do. I mean, who's benefiting from, from the rhetoric and the stuff that Umar Johnson is talking about? You guys should meet Umar Johnson's father, Brother Jamil. As I said, Brother Umar Johnson's uh, uh, father is, is, is a person that gets, the, that gets the job done here in Philadelphia. That's highly respected. Uh, 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 very much loved. And he even went against his son years back online and was making videos and was calling his son out. I just don't understand how he still got this large following. But hey, what do I know? I, I'm not, I, I, the man is very intelligent. I agree with a lot of things he said out of his mouth, but his actions doesn't go, coincide with the stuff that he says. And he's supposed to be some type of psychologist. I don't know, man. I'm going to cut it short here, man. Listen, leave your comments in the comment section. Subscribe to Street Media TV. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure y'all hit that like button. And remember, I love y'all. Till the next time, peace.